How's it going everyone? So I wanted to talk about the different steels that multi-tools and knives use. Um, we're going to talk about stainless steels in this video. So the majority of multi-tools will probably come with the, uh, you know, 420 HC, which is pretty good. Um, that's the Leatherman Surge, the Wave, the Rebar, um, the Super Tool, even the Juice lineup. So you got the 420 HC, as you can see. Same with the serrated knives, usually that's a 420 HC as well. You can beat the shit out of it and it'll still come. So that's, this is the Leatherman Surge here. Then you wanna upgrade, you go into the Charge family or the uh, G10 Earth like I showed you before. They put a new, it's the S30 V steel. So it's a little bit more premium than, um, you know, the 420 HC. So a lot of people love that. <clears throat> really nice edge retention and all that. And they actually just kept, you know, on this, the seatbelt cutter, this is still 420 HC. It'd be cool if they put S30V on there, but they didn't. But this is S30V steel. This is 420 HC, like I said. And then when you go into like knives, like, you know, Spyderco and stuff, they have, let me see if I can open it. There we go. S45VN steel. So it's a little bit better, I guess. Um, they have a comparison chart that actually shows it. Let's look at it. <clears throat> so you got good, better, and I guess best in a way but the comparison chart I'll, I'll show you a link uh it's knifesteelnerds.com but you can see like the leatherman surge here has 420 hc which is higher carbon it stands for the toughness is a beast it's nine uh one to ten they rate it so worst is uh one ten is the best so toughness is the best out of all these ones so i'm just comparing the three you got 420HC, S30V, and S45VM, which is found in the Spyderco. So the best one for toughness, and toughness measures the chipped edges. It's the resistant to fracturing. So you can kind of pretty much beat the shit out of it, and it'll do good. Then you got the Charge TTI or the um, Weatherman you know, G10 Earth. Um, that, that's a charge, too. You got four, so that's like halfway. Spider Co. Pero 3 with the S45VN is a four too. So the best um, all, between all three of these is the Surge or, um, you know, typical <clears throat> multi-tool with a 420HC blade. Then you go to um, edge retention. Edge retention is the maintained cut cutting ability during cutting so that's what it is um it maintains the cutting ability during cutting so leatherman surge is the worst or you could say wave or rebar at the 420 hc that's the worst at two and a half so you're pretty low there the leatherman charge tti this is the highest out of them with the s30 v steel uh v stands for vanadium vanadium <laughs> And that's a six. And then Spyderco, the pair of three with the S45VN is a 5.5. So it's like right in the middle. So the best, the one that wins this, the edge retention is a six. And uh, that'd be the Leatherman Charge TTI, the dark side, or uh, you know, the Leatherman G10 Earth. But you could see usually it's labeled S30V right there on the knives. Um, but that's like to, you know, retain the edge after using it so many times, how long it lasts, pretty much. Corrosion resistance, this is very important in New England, uh, New England's weather. You got the Leatherman Surge, that's an 8. Uh, with the 420 HC, that's impressive. That's like salt water resistance, <coughs> resistance to corrosion and rusting. Everybody does pretty good here. 
Then you got the Leatherman Charge plus TTI. You got a 7.5 there. So this one actually does the worst by a half a point. And then the Spider Co pair of three gets an eight. So that's tied. But you know, the 420 HC and the S45 VN is tied at eight. So that's pretty impressive. I always thought the 420 HC was like the worst, you know, the worst of the worst, but it shows that the toughness is amazing there. Um, but the Spider Co, you can see, is tied with the corrosion resistance. That's nice. And the uh, S30V is really good at, um, you know, holding an edge, edge retention. So it's pretty cool to compare the three, you know. And uh, usually it's labeled, like I said, this is S45VN steel on the Spider Co. pair of three. A lot of people love this, the, the 45VN steel. Really nice. And then you got, like I said, S30V steel on the Leatherman Charge. I love this thing, the Leatherman Charge. But they put a premium knife on this. And that's the only one on here with the S30V steel. Uh, this doesn't have S30V. Uh, no other knife on here has S30. It's just that, you know, serrate, I mean, not serrate it, just the regular straight blade has the S30V steel. And then you got the Surge, which has just a basic 420HC. Um, most multi-tools use 420HC, I believe. Unless it's not, if, if it's labeled, then you can see, like I showed you, but <clears throat> I use that chart. You'll see a chart. I'll leave a link down below, but there's a stainless steel rating chart. It's kind of cool. And it tells you all the different kinds of steel. I don't know how accurate, it's pretty accurate I heard, but I don't know how accurate it is compared to others. Um, you got the 154 CM steel. I think the old Leatherman TTIs came with that, but you can see the different ratings there. 420HC, like I showed you, it's, there's three categories, like I said, toughness, edge resistance, or retention, and corrosion resistance. You can see I got it there. Then you got uh, 154, that's another um, one I know about. Five, four and a half, seven. I don't have that though. Magna Cut's a new steel, I believe, but that, that looks like it does pretty good. S110V, I've heard of. And let's see, S110V again, S30V, that's where I got it. <clears throat> you got four, six, and seven and a half. Pretty good here, but here is kind of low on the uh, toughness. So it could get brittle, I guess, the way it's saying. And S45VN is, uh, you got the corrosion resistance there. S90V, I was gonna take a shot at with, uh, you know, the spider co. You can see, <clears throat> that's pretty low actually, the uh, toughness, but it kicks up, at, wow, it's at nine at edge retention. So you probably never have to really sharpen it or not for a long, long time. And then corrosion resistance, um, living in New England, that's pretty cool. So it's a seven and a half, but yeah. So I'll leave a link down below guys. And uh, I just think it's pretty interesting, the steel, the different steels they use and, uh, you know, multi-tools and knives. Uh, here's stainless steels. They have different graphs too. And uh, high alloy steels. <clears throat> they have a bar chart graph below too. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. So this this shows the toughness versus edge retention. So you can't have the same of the two, I guess. Uh, this shows 420HC all the way up. And as you go down, this is S125VN steel. Um, but you can see, where are we? We had the 420HC that I compared in the video. Then you got the S30V. And then you got S45VN with the arrow. So you have that. 154 I've heard of. So you have it over here too. But yeah, just pretty interesting. Uh, the difference and, uh, you know, steel grade and, uh, what they mean kind of. So, he, he, this is an interesting um, article though. If you guys want to read it, it's kind of cool. I'm going to save it in my bookmarks. But I just figured I'd share and uh, let you guys know that there is charts out there showing, you know, different ratings for 
steal. But all right, thanks guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed and learned something. Um, yeah, majority of multi tools and knives that are kind of cheaper on the cheaper side have the 420HC uh, blades. And then as you go up, you know, you get the uh, S30 V steel and like Spyderco it has the S45 VN steel. But all right, thanks guys for watching. Take care.